In this lecture, I will solve one problem based on unbiased parallel clippers. We need to calculate the output voltage VO. We need to calculate the output voltage VO for the sinusoidal input. And once we have the value of output voltage, we will plot the output waveform using these values. VI is the input voltage and VM is the maximum or peak value of input voltage. I am calling this circuit unbiased clipper because there is no additional DC voltage source present in this circuit and I am calling it parallel clipper because diode is connected in parallel with the load resistance. In case of series clippers, diode is connected in series with the load resistance and in case of parallel clippers, diode is connected in parallel with the load resistance. Now I will calculate the output voltage for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2 from 0 to T by 2 and you can see the input voltage is positive during this half cycle so VI is greater than or equal to 0 for this half cycle and plus minus will be the polarity of input voltage VI and direction of current will be clockwise from positive to negative and you can see direction of current is matching with the direction of arrow in the diode symbol so diode is forward biased diode is forward biased and I will replace the diode with its equivalent model and in the problem it is already given diode is ideal so I will replace it with the short circuit and output voltage is equal to zero because there will be no current through the load resistance current will choose the short circuited path it will not choose the path in which there is resistance so VO is equal to zero for the first half cycle now I will calculate the output voltage for the second half cycle from T by 2 to T from T by 2 to T and the polarity will now reverse minus plus this is the polarity of input voltage VI because it is negative in this half cycle so the direction of current is now anti-clockwise and it is opposite to the direction of arrow in the diode symbol so diode is reverse biased diode is reverse biased for this half cycle and uh, we will replace it with the open circuit there will be no current through this branch because resistance of open circuit is equal to infinity so current will flow through the load resistance and we can easily calculate the output voltage by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law let's say voltage drop across this resistance is equal to VR minus plus I will use the Kirchhoff's voltage law plus of VI plus of VI then we have plus of VO plus of VO minus of VR minus of VR equal to 0 so output voltage is equal to minus of VI plus of VR this resistance is very small so drop across this resistance is also very small so we can neglect VR and VO is simply equal to minus of VI now we have the values for the output voltage in positive half cycle and in negative half cycle so we can easily plot the output waveform for the positive half cycle it is equal to zero so we have zero volt in the first half cycle then output voltage is equal to minus of VI so output voltage will remain same as the input voltage so this is how the output waveform will look and you can see this clipper circuit is positive clipper circuit is positive clipper circuit because we have clipped the positive portion of the waveform I hope unbiased parallel clipper is clear to you if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one